Yo, what is good, Killer Squad? Hitman man here back in another video. So you guys seem to like the uh, 200k budget series, so we're gonna continue that series. I know I posted it last week on Sunday, so we're gonna do this one today and then Sunday. And then after that, I wanna move up to maybe like 500k for all you people that spend more than that. All you big baller, big baller brand. Just kidding, just kidding. Don't don't flame me for that. But uh, today we're gonna do defense lineup. So um, let me know in the comments down below if just any player you agree or disagree with me. If anyone you think is your your personal budget player, let me know. Sometimes I do miss players, but those are my the players that I've researched so far. And I said 200 like goal shouldn't be too hard. So 200 like goal. So let's go ahead and um, you know we'll start we'll start off right away with the point guard position. This one is the easiest one to do. We can get a bunch of 89 overall. I don't think you get the only 90 I think is like Chris Paul and Andre Miller. Ooh. Okay, low key. There's some pretty good ones. Marcus Smart, not the, not my favorite. So a lot of people complain, be like, "Yo, D Hitman, why does it always have to be three point?" Look, if you're playing league versus league, you have to score three points if you want to win. This is what I'm saying. So a good player right here, you can pick up up for pit in defensive lineup. This guy right here is 90 overall. He has good solid stats, 91 dribbling, 91 speed. He's good because he has the boost. I like picking up my boost. Andre Miller has actually really solid stats. He has 82 three pointers, 81 speed, 79 three points, uh, 75 defense. So those are pretty good. I'm not a big fan of Chris Paul, although he has some really good stats as well. He has uh, 84. Actually, low key has some really good stats. 84 three point, and he's really cheap. So you can probably pick up Chris Paul. For very cheap, it's 84 three point. Gary Payton, not not my favorite. Again, not the best three pointer. So if we're talking about 90 pluses, those are the ones you can get. If you really, really, really want to get someone who's really good at three points, you get Steph Curry. Uh, I'm not a big fan of getting base players. You know what I'm saying? You can pick up the Steph Curry right here, 94 three pointer. Obviously, it's a solid pick. He's definitely, you can probably buy him off for 150k, 120k. Chris Dunn is also a very solid pick. Uh, honestly, I would probably just pick up Chris Paul. And Derrick Rose is also nice if you like uh, someone who's really quick. 90 speed is really nice. So definitely, Derrick Rose, Eddie Moody, if you like the boost, he has a really good three point. But I mean, it depends. 90 overall, Chris Paul defensive lineup. Pretty solid, 84 three point, which I like a lot. And his defense actually said uh, not bad, uh, 69 defense. I thought it'd be a little bit, to be honest. But yeah, that's that's for the point guard. I mean, you can get John Wall, not a big fan as well. Isaiah Thomas. So yeah, those are the ones I said. Marcus Smart, uh, Chris Paul, Andre Miller, probably your best bet for under 200k. With shooting guard, it's kind of hard. I'm not even gonna deny that. You can pick up uh, Ronnie Hood, which is probably your best budget buy. You can get out there. He has a really solid stat: 83 points, 76 defense. Budget-wise, again for 120k, he's probably your best buy. I feel like I've already done this one before, but I have not. But if you want someone slightly cheaper, you can go for JR Swish or Isaiah Thomas. JR Swish, 86 three point, absolutely a beast. I buy him all the time. Isaiah Thomas as well, but I think JR Swish is a little better. He's a taller. Uh, Jody Meeks, really good, low key. He's substantially cheaper. If you want to save a lot, you go with Jody Meeks. He's 80 over, uh, 87 overall, not a fan of Depot, but this lineup is usually not so bad. I would definitely pick up the Ronnie Hood if you want to get the highest not overall again, 90 overall. Ronnie Hood is a good buy. Small forward, you can pick up. My favorite one to do is definitely, I'm going to show you Gordon Hayward, but I don't think you can get anything higher than an 88 overall. If you're lucky, yeah, you can pick up Jimmy Butler if you're lucky. Halavec, I, I like Halitech. Halitech, very good buy for 200k or less. Even then, you can probably buy him for cheaper. Jimmy Butler usually goes for 250. You can snipe him for 200. He's probably your best buy. But Halicek has good defense. Uh, 75 defense is decent, but good three-point, good speed, good dribbling. So I'd probably pick him up for 200. But for all you other people, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Uh, 87 overall, you want to pick up. I don't, I'm not a big fan of getting these base players. If you want to get a base player, Kevin Durant is really good. But Gordon Hayward right here is an absolute monster. He basically has 80 and everything except for defense. And he's definitely less than like... You can probably find for 100k if obviously 130k. So yeah, Gordon Hayward is a beast of a buy. So I, I totally recommend Gordon Hayward. Andrew Wiggins, uh, not so much. He's definitely overpriced considering he's a team of the week player. He's also very, very um, scarce when it comes to on the auction house. So I definitely wouldn't buy him. But basically, Gordon Hayward, if you want to spend, you save money. Save your money, pick up Gordon Hayward. If you want LeBron James, uh, I'm not a big fan. I, I like LeBron, but Kevin Durant is the probably the best one you want to get. He's good shooting, but if you want to pay 200k, Halitech, pretty solid. Now the power forward is a really good player. Who's an 89 overall? I think it's Serge Ibaka. All these new players that came out, Serge Ibaka, very solid. Michael Beasley also has really good three pointer, but I pref I prefer. I mean, I'm biased. But Serge Ibaka has some good defense, 87 defense. He has, he's fast. He's not as fast, but dang, he's some good stats. Michael Beasley is a good choice too. Michael Beasley is substantially cheaper, but 
I mean, I really like the Serge Ibaka. Serge Ibaka or Michael Beasley. Either or, you can't go wrong with. I feel like uh, Serge Ibaka is slightly taller. He's like six foot ten. Michael Beasley is, I think, six foot nine. Oh, six foot ten. Both, if I remember correctly. But uh, you can choose either. Whatever is cheaper. But I like Serge Ibaka just because it's slightly, slight edge on the defense, which is nice on the defense. And if you want to go slightly lower, you can get, I think it was a Paul Millsap you can pick up an 88 overall. Michael, there's another Michael Beasley here. Why would you pick up this Michael Beasley if you can pick up the other Michael Beasley? Uh, Horace Grant, not so bad. Uh, he's not really good. He's also very expensive. Michael Beasley here as well. Another defensive lineup one. So many 88 overalls. Where is he? Dennis Rodman. I like Dennis Rodman a lot. But honestly, don't think there's too much. Serge Ibaka or Michael Beasley, 89 overall. There's was an 87. Paul Millsap, who's definitely cheaper. If you want to save a little bit. Uh, why can't I find him? Maybe I'm just crazy. Oh, does Kevin Love you can buy a very good three-pointer? He's going to be 200k or so. He's going to be very expensive. So I just don't overthink it. Get that Serge Ibaka or Michael Beasley. It is your best bet. Now, center position, it is expensive. Expensive. So you can either get a Tyson Chandler or Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard is really good. He's he's supposed to be 7 feet. I'm saying for 11. 7 feet. He has good, solid defense, 86 defense. Everything else, not so good. But he'll get you a lot of blocks. Uh, Tyson Chandler, also, I really like 87 defense. Is a very big fan of it. Between him... Or Dwight Howard, you want to save a bit of coins, you'll go with Tyson Chandler. But if you want to go with the better player, you go with Dwight Howard. I think Mark Gasol has a better shooting stats. Yeah, 74 shooting. Better, better, better. Oh, 76 shooting. I'm surprised. That's actually high for Dwight Howard. But yeah, there's nothing really else in that. And Marcus Cousin is okay. I'm not. He's yeah, he's supposed to be the same height, slightly taller. But if I were you guys and you're looking for a defensive line, pick him up right now. Dwight Howard is going to go up in price. In my opinion, all these cheap players are going to go up in price. If you want to go higher, 300k, 400k, 500k, you got to go. You got to go big baller. You got to go big baller. So that's the defensive lineup, guys. Uh, no big deal. It's kind of it's kind of solid. You can have a nice 90 overall for a million. I think Bobby Buckets did that. So, yeah, it's not bad. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if you agree or disagree with me. If there's any budget players you want to tell me about, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see my latest videos, it's going to be right side of the screen. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe button and make videos on a daily. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it. Thank <laughs> you.